All right, so hopefully you've seen a change in the background here if you didn't. Um, like animation trigger script, GUI script, keyboard controls, these are all things that I renamed. And why I did that um, is because I want you to start getting into the habit of creating your own wiki type deal uh, with source. Okay, so in other words, uh, this is an animation trigger script. It shows you an example of how to trigger an animation very quickly using a keyboard control. This is a GUI script. So the GUI script just quickly says, okay, now the GUI works like this. Um, on screen, there's buttons, and here's how the buttons work. So you make first button. Keyboard controls shows you examples on how to use keyboard controls. Then I got a thing called widget script. Okay, so widget script, what would be best to explain what widget script does would be rotate around an object script or rotate object script. Okay, so what's going to happen here is if I name, rename this rotate object script, what kind of um, hell that might play? You know, rotate, rotate script. How about that? Okay, now if I hit play, does everything work? Well, let's see. In most cases, yes. Now, I won't say that every case would work that easy because in some cases what you'll have is, let's say, let's give you an example of that. Right here, the rotate script itself. Here's GUI script. Okay, so it's calling upon the other script. So you have to make sure that you rename it in here also. So I just want you to get into the habit uh, before we move on with this AI thing to take and reorganize your scene just a little bit and name it conventional. That way when you go back into it and start actually programming a game, you have usable reference to go back to. All right. So this, this video is called aptly uh, cleaning up or naming your scripts or something like that. How about the reference video there? That's catchy. All right. So on to the next script or video.